my lovelies welcome to our channel here we are doing the monthly reading this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising and venus gemini before we get into your reading just want to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that are trying to get uh 30 minute telephone consultations or a video live readings uh you can now be able to book that on our online store uh, decided to add that to our store just to make it more convenient more proactive um there's been you know we, we've been trying to keep up with all our emails and it's almost like we send out availability of dates and times people are not responding on time or um i get their messages late etc so this is more proactive um keep in mind we are at the end of the year which is the busiest season to be honest we've been it's feel it's felt like we've been completely booked all year um so we have availability now for the month of November and December, sorry, not November, December, January. Um, so if you guys are trying to get consultations uh, for the new year or trying to prepare for the new year, now is the time to go to our online store and um, get that. Uh, availability, like I said, is limited. So just letting you guys know, um, if you guys decide to do it a little bit uh, later, don't be surprised if it, you're unable to. Um, because like I said, the moment that we get completely filled up for December and January, uh, it's no longer going to be available until further notice. So just letting you guys know. Okay, enough about that. That was a long spiel. <laughs> Gemini, how are you doing? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are excited. We are at the, uh, the season is here, right? The holidays. Hope you guys are as excited as I am um big deal for us over here on this side all right my lovelies spirit guides ancestors and archangels please step forward allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for gemini sun moon rising and venus for the month of november 2021 what are the messages for gemini sun moon rising and venus what is it that they need to know what is unfolding for them for this month november 2021 gemini sun moon rising and venus okay let's get into this all right first card three of pentacles second card is the star card judgment oh the five of wands and the queen of cups okay all right gemini i see you guys being extremely social or much more social than you've been in the past couple of months Three of Pentacles speaks about coming together or being around people that is a close knit of friends or a close knit of family members, those that you trust. Um, but at the same time, really putting ideas or throwing ideas out there. They're telling you to listen to your intuition, Gemini, because I feel that for the month of November, your imagination is going to be like amazing. Um, and when we say imagination, we're talking about creativity, your creative um energy and it's time for you to embrace that why because through this process in the month of november i feel that a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of amazing ideas ideas that could potentially turn into income that could potentially turn into a passion that could potentially turn into uh, even new endeavors um, that will potentially turn into something that generates income for you guys so pay attention to that now, your next card here is the star card being illuminated, being blessed, also seeing manifestations with the judgment card. There is a some type of um, hope or desire that you've been holding on to for quite a while now. And for some of you guys, it's almost seemed like uh, you take two steps forward and five steps backwards. Know and understand that the planet alignments weren't necessarily helping you in a positive way, but I feel that the alignment that we have now uh, is going to create a lot of traction, a lot of fast movement for you. Uh, you may even feel like you're being pulled towards different directions. People, friends are wanting to talk to you, are wanting to be around you, are wanting to hear about you, that type of energy. So I feel that you guys are going to be very busy for the month of November. We also do have here the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands indicates a struggle, but with the judgment, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be tempted to revisit the past, uh, especially if you were dealing with someone that perhaps um, you could potentially be in a relationship at the present time. 
but it's almost like circumstantial for some of you, like the person that you're with now could be not necessarily the person that you genuinely loved or that you love the most. And I feel like uh, for some of you guys, the attention that they're trying to grab or get from you, I feel that there's someone from the past that may be coming back around trying to pull on your heartstrings. Um, so be mindful of that, Gemini. It's very important uh, to keep yourself grounded. Again, if you are in a relationship, don't be quick to fantasize or to um, to jump to conclusions, basically, because I feel that when this person comes back around, really what they're doing is there is some type of lack of attention here. And when we have uh, lack of attention. Uh, it usually indicates a person that is either contacting us because things are not going their way at the present time, or it is a passing type of energy. So be mindful of that. With the Queen of Cups, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with Aquarian energy here with the star. Um, for others of you, you may be dealing with water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio type of energy. This is a person, I'm going to be honest with you, Gemini, this is a person that is very dramatic. This is a person that sears up a lot of shit um, and they like to play the victim. Uh, so if this is a person, again, like I said, from the past and you're currently in a relationship and this person comes to you, um, you know, to try to get some type of sympathy or to just to see if you're open to conversating with them. Uh, again, like I said, don't let them play on your heartstrings, okay? Um, just know and understand that this person is, to be honest with you, bored or they're not getting enough attention. And that's the reason why they're coming back around. They're wanting to see if you're willing or open uh, to open that communication with them. So again, um, not necessarily a good energy. So again, don't, don't revisit the past. It's unnecessary if at this point you are in a relationship. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, I do see expansion when we're talking about being introduced to different people, being introduced or bumping or meeting new people. Um, but I don't see anything that is potentially something that can turn into long term. However, if fun is what you're looking for, definitely take advantage of that. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then. Bye.